but I won't stop posting. I love you and Charles and you guys are awesome and you guys are the reason for my vlogs really. My vlog is rendering so I think I'm gonna read a little bit. I'm not gonna read to you guys since so it's gonna be kinda late. But I'm gonna read a little bit. Walking surfer. Which means I'm at work, which is awesome. Made my favorite part of the walk the towards the end. I love these houses. But he got a new leash and um, I'm still using the Febreze bottle. But look at how long this thing is. It's nice and blue and I like the blue. But look at how long this thing is. Look at that. It's huge. Hopefully he doesn't rip this one so soon. But even if he does, it's like so long that you can tie it like two or three times and it'll still be a good length. Pretty warm out today. So it's hot. And I feel like a nosebleed is going to start, like, I feel it. Ugh. It's really hot today. Alright, guys, this is kind of cool. Um, this is cool. Alright, check it out. You guys know how I do movie reviews, right? And, um, I just made one for the mask for CTFX Cinema. And, uh, apparently something was wrong. Hmm. With it, like, it couldn't be... Well, let me just show you. Alright, I'm sure you can read, but I'll read it for you. Just in case you don't know how to read. Just so you don't feel left out. It says, hello. I'm so sorry, but I won't be able to include you in today's video because my video downloader won't accept your upload clip for some reason. Your review is hilarious, too. Bummer. Thank you for posting and don't stop doing it just because it didn't work this time. Love ya. And it's from Ali, which is pretty awesome. If you don't know who that is, that's Ali Speed from CTFXC. And she is so awesome. And the fact that she would actually like take the time to write and you know tell me that there was a problem uploading it or whatever is just really cool. And I won't stop posting. I don't know if you're watching this, Ali, but I won't stop posting. I love you and Charles and you guys are awesome. And you guys are the reason for my vlogs, really. And just thank you just for taking the time. I know you probably have all these other video responses and other movie reviews you have to go through. And all this time that's going to take you. And just the fact that you took out the time from your day to write something means a lot. So thank you. I love you, too. That's so cool. I'm not even going to delete that message. I'm just going to keep it. I just heard Justin Bieber's rendition of Drummer Boy and... This is my face. Like, my eyebrows are, like, way up, and it's, I'm like, what did I just hear? Obviously, I like him by the posters in my room, and my cousin caught him. He jokes around, but he calls me a pedophile. <laughs> but, yes. Um, <clears throat> you can see, actually, him. He's right back there. But, okay, when I heard that he was going to make a Christmas album with all original songs... I was kind of like, okay, it's going to be interesting. Maybe one of these songs will go on for years and years and it'll be like, it'll come, it'll turn into like a Christmas classic or something. And then I heard Mistletoe, right? The first single that he released. And it's a catchy song, right? But it's not, it doesn't feel like a holiday song. The only thing that felt like a holiday song was the fact that the music video, like it was snowing and he was outside in the snow. And you could heal, you could heal, you could heal. You can hear the the bells in the back, in the music, um, but it didn't feel like a holiday song. It's not a song I'm going to be playing. I don't play holiday songs, but, you know, it's not a song that you would put in a department store year after year after year. And then I, I just heard, I was watching uh, What the Buck, and he talked about that, the Justin Bieber's rendition of Drummer Boy. I'm like, what? And he said... Um, Michael Buckley said that Justin Bieber raped Christmas, <laughs> and I heard it, and I kind of feel the same way. It, it's a catchy song, and it's it's hip hop, and it hip hop, and pop, and it's very catchy. And Busta Rhymes is rapping in it, and Justin Bieber raps, and it's very catchy. But oh, that is not Drummer Boy. That is not Drummer Boy. I was really hoping. I have to put this down. That's so much. Easier. Whoa! Don't fall. Oh, you fall. That's better. Okay. I was really hoping, I hope you can see my face. 
I was really hoping that this video, I mean the video, what am I talking about? That the songs that he was going to make were going to be original, good, have a very holiday feel to it. And they don't. They just feel like you take a song that already is and you just turn it into pop. That's not what I was expecting. And I'm a little disappointed. I mean the songs are catchy and I'm definitely going to get them on my iPod. They are catchy. But to say, to release it as a Christmas album and say this is a Christmas album, it's like, what? And I'm about to hear Fa La La featuring Boys to Men by Justin Bieber. And hopefully this is a little better. But that Drummer Boy song, it's a good, it's it's not a great song. It's, a, it's an okay song. But that's not, you should have not made like try to remake it in a new modern way they completely like this is not a christmas album or holiday album whatever this is weird it's like it's like santa claus trying to rap that's how weird it, it is it's not funny it's not entertaining it's just weird and and you feel awkward but they are catchy they are catchy i'll admit that they are catchy but it's too it's too weird this is not a holiday album it's um it should be more it's just like a regular album a winter album that's what you can call it a winter album not a holiday album it feels more like a winter album like themed in the winter time that one was better fa la la was better um boys to men great voices and justin bieber has a great voice and and there it's like a nice little collaboration but once again actually this one was a lot better it felt more christmasy if you weren't paying attention to the words because all the songs that he's coming out with it's talking about like being with a girl right like you know oh I love you blah 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 let's kiss under the mistletoe or whatever um but that's not what holiday so uh, songs why can I not speak today that's not what holiday songs should be about they should be about spending time out with your family or, or stuff like that like you know having your dinner with everyone I don't know but it should not be about I think that's the main problem is that they're not about things about the holidays they're about a girl in the time of the holidays so that's the main problem with the songs to be honest as a I, I wouldn't I wouldn't this is not a good holiday it's a good winter album that's where I'm that's like if I were to put to call it something it wouldn't be a holiday album it'd be a winter album because there's nothing he has not there's, none of these songs have anything to do with the holidays. They have more to do with like just the winter time. But yeah, I mean, this album's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to listen to the rest of it just to see what it's like. Cause, because the first these first songs I've heard are kind of weird. Okay, so I just found the whole album on YouTube, and I'm listening to Silent Night, and it's actually very nice. So he has apparently it looks like it's gonna be sort of like 75, or maybe it's like 60. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be like half and half almost. Like half of his originals and then half of the original originals. And Silent Night, it's really nice. It's just his voice and a piano and it's really nice. And there seems to be a few others that are covers. I'm so excited to hear this one. I hope it's really good. It's called Home This Christmas uh, featuring the band Perry. And I, I love the band Perry. So hopefully it's really good because if it's not, it's going to suck. But... But yeah, so far Silent Night's really good. So enough about talking enough about talking about this album. I just wanted to say that it's kinda weird. I wouldn't call it a Christmas album because half the songs on there are about girls and not really about the holidays. So I don't know, that's my opinion. You can tell me what you think if you want. Uh I'm kinda tired of talking, so oh. Hey guys. Um I totally forgot to vlog the rest of the day after that Justin Bieber album. I'd say the rest of the songs were pretty good. Um, he did a cover of Silent Night, which is really nice. I think I already talked about that. And uh, just that drummer boy song was really, really weird. Like, ugh. It shouldn't have been called Drummer Boy. But whatever. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to shoot a film tomorrow. A, a film I just thought of, like right now. And there's no dialogue. It's probably not going to go up until Sunday. The films are going to go up on Sundays. That's how I feel good about 
Sunday. But I don't know if I want to put it up this Sunday and wait till, or wait till next one, and that way I have time in between, so it's not like, you know, you get two weeks in a row, and then it's like two weeks without a video, because I want to kind of keep it, um, at a good pace, but I don't know, I have to decide, um, chances are it will go up tomorrow, if not tomorrow, I have something else planning t on going up tomorrow, which I'll let you guys know, uh, not tomorrow, uh, Sunday, well, well, uh, blah, 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 um, I, f I turned on the camera for a reason, I really forgot why, uh, I just remembered why, uh, the Edgar Allan Poe book I'm reading, here we go, I'm still not done with the first story, but it's kind of creepy. This is seriously not for kids. It's kind of creepy. And it's a little difficult to understand. So if I was a kid, you know, this would be... I wouldn't understand anything that was going on. It's kind of creepy, but I like it. So, that's what I wanted to say. That's the reason why I turned on the camera. Check it out, guys. You should really check this out. If you're into this kind of stuff.